Hello everybody, it is Bo Coward back again, and we are not in my normal Let's Play video. We are not doing a Let's Play video, and I am not in my world. See, what this is, say um, you were dead and you just came back alive, or you were on vacation for a really, really long time, and you weren't able to play Xbox. This is what happened, um, well, this will be a TU14 recap video, if you do not remember if there is some stuff that I um, that you did not realize that was there in the game or if there is stuff that is hey wolf that um you might have missed and I'm sandstone um so uh, yeah let's get started um first one is probably very easy to see and that is um there is now emeralds they added an emerald ore emerald block and emeralds so that's good um so in emeralds you can trade with villagers which i'll get to that in a, in a little bit which i might want to get that emerald just 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 in case to pick up the emerald Thank you. okay um, next one, if you do not see, is quartz. There's a quart block, quartz stairs, quartz slab, chiseled quartz, and pillar quartz. Um, that is it with quartz. Um, that's what the quartz looks like. Um, what the quartz ore looks like, it, it kind of looks like netherrack, but with, uh, like, white scratches on it. Um... Next one is a soft sandstone. I'm not sure what kind of sandstone. And um, that's chiseled sandstone, I think. And then um, the next one is also, as you can see, sideways. Oh, that pig just ruined everything. Is sideways logs and that. Dang it. Now oh, that pig has ruined everything. Gosh, way to go, pig. God, you're, you're such a pig. I'm going to eat you. Gosh. What basically happened was that pig. Okay. You see right there? Thank you. Okay. So what happened was, if you didn't see, there's tripwire, which you use is you put the tripwire right there and then what you do is you put string along here and then you have a redstone connection what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to also show you an invisibility potion and a night vision potion because those are the two potions that were added into the game and uh, I'm gonna go to sleep so I don't die um so I'm sleeping. Uh, uh, I'm sleeping. Ooh, ah, uh, I'm sleeping. Okay. Um. So where was I? I was at the night vision. And blah 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 blah. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to show. This is also new. Um. That is a cobblestone wall, which is sort of like a fence but made out of cobblestone. So yeah. Um. Uh, Tripwire with invisibility invisibility potion. The next one is. Is a what? What is this called? A flower pot, I think. It's called a flower pot. Let me see. Um, what is that called? Yeah, a flower pot. And um, flower pot. You can put roses, flowers, um, cactus, dead bush, shrubs, basically any plant, like a sapling or something like that, except for sugarcane. And then right here is some carpet. So, if you put green carpet on top of brown wool, you can basically have, like, fake grass. So, that's a cool thing. And, uh, on this one, I kind of messed up a little bit. Um, but the next one is, um, carrot on a stick. And what you do is, you mount on a pig with a saddle, and then if you have the carrot on a stick, it'll actually follow which direction you want it to go in. To make it go faster, you can hit LT every once in a while, and it go a little bit faster. But the bad thing is, 
it'll take durability off of the fishing rod. So then when it's all gone, you just have a regular fishing rod and you won't have the care part. So um, let me just get off of that. No, that was good. I keep right on. Um, next thing is ender chests and mossy cobblestone walls. Um, so the ender chests is pretty simple. Um, basically like, uh, so you put an ender chest there. If you, you have an ender chest right there. And then if you put one right there, all this, the same stuff in this ender chest will be in that ender chest. But the cool thing is people can't steal that stuff. So basically all your stuff goes in here and you can put it in here. So like say you have like 20 diamonds, you put it in there, you somehow die. And then at your spawn point, say there's an ender chest there. You just take the stuff and then boom. Next, oh yeah, uh, I forgot to tell you. The new foods, um, there's a golden apple and a super golden apple. Um, this one doesn't really say super golden apple, but that's what everyone says. Um, this golden apple just gives you the regular default stuff, um, like fire resistance and strength and stuff like that. This one, this gives you like a bunch of stuff like, um, wait, let's just see actually. This gives you fire resistance, resistance, and generation four. I don't think the regular apple does that. Um, there's potato, baked potato, and poisonous potato. You will find these in villages and sometimes in uh, dungeons. You will, there's a very low percentage that you'll get a poisonous potato though. There's also carrots, and if you, and if you didn't see last time, but uh, if you put a carrot and a fishing rod in the crafting table, and if you go onto weapons and stuff like that, you'll find it. There's also a golden carrot, which doesn't really do much. I'm, I can show you what it does. Oh, I'm all out of hunger. But um, it doesn't really do much. I think it just does resistance. And then pumpkin pie, which is made out of pumpkin, an egg and sugar, I think. I think that's a crafting recipe. Yeah, um, pumpkin, egg, and sugar. And uh, next one is leather dyeing armor and stuff like that. So some people are, are like, oh, I won't die. Oh, oh, it actually did die. Um, so what you do is you put the armor on like that, and then you go like that. And then like, boom, you're red, white, and blue. But it doesn't only work with those, it works with any kind of dye. But um, you don't have to put it on and dye it. You can just, what you do is you hit like whatever you want to dye. You hit X on what leather, on what armor you want to dye. And then it'll dye that. Um, Next thing I want to show you is um, this. Say it. You can also dye whoops collars. See, like, I just dyed him his thing black. Um, yeah. Um, that's about it. Let me just put this stuff back in there. Um, next one is, um, anvils and stuff like that. Um, let me just go ahead and put an anvil down. Um... Um, so let's just put Silk Touch on this Diamond Pickaxe. That's basically what it does. Um, you can also name it. Like, say you don't want it to be called Diamond Pickaxe. You can call it, like, the number one, and you can call it, like, one MVP or something like that. You can basically name it, but it'll also cost you, um, XP. So, that you don't want to do, so, um, yeah. But the cool thing is about Silk Touch now, you can actually get glass and ice blocks back. Let me do that again. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I think there's one more that I did not cover. But, um, 
I enchanted this one. It's a, it's, see, you can enchant like almost anything. You can, I literally enchanted this rose. It has efficiency five, sharpness five, thorns three, looting three, fire spec two, and knockback two. This thing is amazing. And I, and you named it, and I named it the cool rose right there. Look. It literally gives you steak. I mean, that's, yeah. And it's a rose. So, yeah. You know what else is also cool is, um, say you have an anvil. Anvils also work as, like, basic, basically, like, sand and gravel. Like, if I put it right there, it'll fall. But the cool thing is, you get hurt from it. So let me, let me get it, let me try to do something here. Ooh. But see, it's not doing that much because I have like, I have the golden apple effects on me. Um, there's one more thing that I forgot. Um, I can't remember. There's sandstone villages. There's sandstone villages. Um, I think you can probably, you probably can't see it, but there's a sandstone village over there. Um, you can trade with villagers with the emeralds. Oh, now I remember. Okay. In hard mode, zombie, zombies will go after villagers. And once they killed the villagers, the villager will actually turn into a zombie villager. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. So let me just do that. Uh, let me just spawn a villager in. Sorry, buddy. What the? No, go after the villager, you idiot. Yeah, see? There's a zombie villager right there. Let me just kill all these losers. Okay, but there's actually a way that I forgot to get the stuff in here. Um, there's actually, a n like, say, that happens in real, like, if you're in a survival world, and that happens, and you don't want that to happen, like, say, that's the last villager, here's a way you can cure it. It's pretty expensive, though. What you're going to need is a weakness potion. You throw it at him. And then what you do is you get a golden apple and you feed it to him. Why isn't it working? Oh wait, I think it's with the other kind of golden apple. Um, don't do with the super golden apple then I guess. <laughs> oh no. Did I just get stuck? Dang it, oh wait, ice. No! Okay. Um which which chest was it in? I think it was this one? Yep, okay. Um, so get a regular golden apple, not the super golden apple, just a regular one. And, uh, when it's on its weakness potion, you quickly go up to it with a golden apple, and you click LT on it. It'll get a red potion effect with it, and it'll start shaking. And, um, yeah. Um, so in about three minutes, he'll actually turn back into a regular villager. So, uh, yeah. You jerk. So, um, yeah, I, I think if I missed anything, which I'm pretty sure I did, I just can't remember it, um, please comment down in the description below and uh, tell me what I missed because I think I missed something. I just can't remember it. But, um, yeah, um, hope you guys liked this video, hope this helped you out a lot, um, um, so, yeah, and be aware that TO14 is a little bit glitchy, um, there's one glitch that my friend found out, like, the Iron Golem, he put down an Iron Golem, and it just started swinging his arms randomly, like, there wasn't even anyone there.
So uh, let's test out this cool rose. The thing is, if you chant a, an item that's not like a sword or anything, it'll do good. But that's the thing, it has unlimited durability. Oh, by the way, if there's one thing that you did not know, if you want to get music discs instead of just looking for dungeons, if you get a skeleton to shoot a creeper and kill it, it'll actually drop a music disc. Oh, uh, well, it didn't work. But it, it works. I've seen it before. I've actu I actually have two music discs in one of my other worlds because of that. I don't know. Stop it. So, uh, hope this video, um, helped you out a lot. And, um, look at my red, look at my red, white, and blue stuff as I exit the video.